During the ongoing pandemic, Wisconsin is scheduled to host two large campaign events this week. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Pewaukee tomorrow. President Trump will host a rally Thursday in Marinette. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin explains why both events have health professionals concerned. After President Trump held his first campaign rally since the outbreak of the coronavirus in Tulsa, Oklahoma, medical professionals in Wisconsin are concerned about the health and safety of those attending similar events. We worry about these large gatherings because of what we know of the virus and what we've seen with other viruses. While Wisconsin is not seeing a surge in positive cases, southern states are. For the third straight day, Florida and South Carolina broke their single-day records for new cases. And it's catching the attention of doctors here. Um, having individuals uh, in, in very close contact with each other for extended periods of time, uh, which you can see at a rally, multiple people uh, becoming infected uh, at a single event. For both Pence and Trump events this week, their campaigns have not said what safety measures will be in place. GOP leaders believe it's the right time to get back on the campaign trail. We've had now two elections uh, since the pandemic started. We have had demonstrations all over the state, and we haven't had those spikes that a lot of people have warned us about. Democratic leaders called the rallies a distraction. I am gravely concerned that as Vice President Pence and President Trump visit Wisconsin, they will not take the steps uh, that should be taken to keep Wisconsinites safe. You know, immunocompromised or, you know, not comfortable, um, then, you know, they should they should refrain. In Madison, Emily Fannin, 27 News. The vice president will kick off his events tomorrow, starting in Waukesha with a school choice roundtable, then make its way to Pewaukee for a rally. President Trump plans to visit Marinette Marine on Thursday. The White House says he will tour the shipyard and give a speech.